John chapter 10 verses 30. Make sure there is no seat that is beside you that needs a human being. Chapter 10 verses 30 of the book of John. Jesus said, I and the Father are one in essence and nature. I and the Father are one in essence and nature. Now, I want you to hear these words. Jesus did not say, I and the Father are united. No. He says, I and the Father are one. There is a difference between united and being one. People can be united for a cause. People can be united by legal document. Some of us are united by virtue of birth. We have brothers we don't like. If you are to go for a trip, you don't take your brothers. You take your friends. He said, I and the Father are one. In essence, and nature. Give me another version of that if you don't mind. The three things that the enemy hates. And I want you to get it on principle. The enemy would discredit what gives you an, an advantage over him. He would try to paint a picture that it's not as powerful as, as painted. It doesn't work like it's been said. Because he knows it gives you an advantage over it. That's why most critics to our faith and our practice are people who don't practice it. Critics of the church are not committed to church. They are not pastors. They are not elders of a church. People who write newspapers and make programs on TV, people who write posts on their walls to criticize pastors and the church don't even know what a pastor is. They think the pastor is the person who preaches. They don't know the difference. The enemy always tries to discredit what gives you an advantage over him. And one of them is covenant. And we say the reason why he discredits covenant is because covenant is the coming together, an agreement which is formal legal, but is more on principle of faith between two. And whenever covenant is made, a third party is locked out, which happens to be the devil. Number two, we said, the devil, before we go to number two, that's why we say you need to make covenant with everything that the enemy would want to steal. Remember the Bible calls him a thief. Yes. He comes to steal. Yes. Now, he can only steal when it is still in your hands. Let me show you something. The devil roamed around the earth, stealing everybody's life and children and property that was not covenanted. But there was one family whose wealth were covenanted jobs. He tried to and fro, but could not touch because Job covenanted his family and his children. When he appeared before God, he was asked a question, have you considered in your roaming, have you considered the man called Job? And he said, what, what are you talking about God? This man is not after the fear of God. It's because there is an age and he said, for me to access him, you must step aside. Covenant makes God a partner with you. Amen. Am I talking to you? The devil fears covenant. That's why you need to covenant your family, covenant your children, covenant your wealth, covenant your health, covenant your vision. Why do you need to do that? Because
because you have an enemy who is not friendly, who has no mercy. Number two, we said that the second thing the enemy hates is family. And the word family is harmony. It is the, the next step of covenant because covenant is a product of agreement. You cannot force a covenant. You, you cannot make a covenant with a stranger. There must be a, a harmonious agreement. So that brings the next level called family. Agreement is family. Covenant is binding. That's why you can't force someone to marriage. There must be an agreement. Agreement is family. There must be an agreement that forms family. What is family? Harmony. We say family is in three stages, five stages. Number one, we say there is a family within you. You must be a family within yourself. There is your spirit, there is your soul, and there is your body. And I want to recommend something with you. If you want to succeed in life, make sure you are in agreement with yourself. Yes. No matter the opportunities you meet, no matter the privileges you have, no matter your potential, if you are not in harmony with yourself, the Bible says a double-minded man. The Bible says you can't take a plow looking back and still be fit for a cause. A man is called by Christ. Jesus gives a parable and says a man is called of God. And he said, you know what, Lord? Let me go first and bury my father. And Jesus said, you are not in harmony with yourself. Another one says, I just got married. And Jesus said, you are not in harmony with yourself. Another one says, I just bought some oxen. And Jesus said, I can't have a double-minded man. That's why anybody who followed Christ never questioned the calling. They were told, follow me. And they never thought about what the implications were. And they followed. And Jesus gave them the right. And he said, nobody who has followed me wholly, fully, will miss to receive a hundredfold. Because a wholesale commitment attracts wholesale reward. Hakuna wow. asara wow. kwa mungu. Kwa sababu hata wala hawafuati mungu, wanatarajia mungu awape kibali. Hata wesi wanaomba mungu awachunge wasipatikane. So harmony with yourself. Number two we say harmony with your... Before we go that, that scripture say I and the father are one. Heart and mind. Now look at, look at. Before we go further, look at Psalms 133. Psalms 133 verses 1. There's a difference between unity and oneness. It says in Psalms, it says, um, um, uh, blah, blah, blah. how wonderful, it says, uh, the, the song of course of David, and he says, how truly wonderful and delightful to see brothers and sisters living one together in sweet unity. That what is harmony. It is possible to live together and not be in harmony. Can I prove it to you? Did you realize you can be legally bound by a wedding certificate, but you are not in harmony? Do you realize you can be bound by blood, but you are not in harmony? Yes. Ashes, we still have some seats on this end. Let's fill these seats on this end. The Ashes on this side, stand up, please. Listen, you can live bound by children, but not harmony. You can be bound by your job, but not in harmony. God does not bless disharmony. Because the nature of God is that he is in agreement, he is in harmony with himself. The reason why he has remained God is because he's never divided himself. 
make sure you are in harmony with yourself. Number two, make sure you are in harmony with everybody that you sign into the circles of your daily dwelling. Amen. And I want to tell you for free, if you can't agree, part ways. Yes. Don't tolerate people at the expense of your life. Yes. You don't have eternity. When you are young, you think it works. When you cross where I have crossed, you realize you have a purpose to fulfill and time is not on your side. You have no time for pettiness. They say you shouldn't throw stones on any barking dog on the street. There are people who have no life to live. Their life is people's lives. What is the height of your shoes? Who was close to you? People have a problem if they found you having lunch with somebody in a restaurant. It's a story. You can't believe. You better believe it is me. Yeah. There are pastors who can't give a lift to a woman. Including their mother. So if you carry your mama, or carry your sister, or carry a member of your church, should you put a placard? Please don't mis 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 misunderstand me. This is my mother. Do I owe you the explanation of my life? And by the way, if I wanted to be crooked, do I need your permission? No. So listen, I don't owe you an explanation for my life. The day I will lose it with God, you will know God has left me. You don't need to look for it. The day the Spirit of God leaves me, you will know. Who you mutu wa mewachwa na mungu. Hana neema tena. Na yonjo na eh? And exactly. That's a problem. They are not one. It's like if somebody told you something about your friend. If you are one with your friend, your spirit will tell you this is a lie. But if you begin like, oh. Oh. Really? I didn't know. That's why in our society, we don't have friends. You know, I was handling a case the other day where a girlfriend married the husband to her friend. Does that even make sense? That a girlfriend to a woman who is married end up marrying the husband and let their wife be the girlfriend. Something close to that. Now listen. Look, go to verses 2. What does verses 2 say? It says, it is like the precious oil of consecration. Poured on the head, coming down on the beards. Even the beards of Haron, which is the priestly office, which is headship, which is leadership, that's where God says the husband is the head of the family. God cannot bless a beast in the name of family. You know what a beast is? This animal that has two heads and one body. When the enemy wants to destroy, he will, listen, the Bible says the man is the head. Religion says the wife is the neck. The Bible says the wife is the body. Listen, women, you are not necks. The neck, your neck is part of your head. You are the body. You are not the neck. I had somebody say, no, I am the neck. As much as he's the head, I am the neck. I am the one who determines where he faces. That is called witchcraft. It's called what? Witchcraft. You are not. You are the body. That's why God gave every woman a body. And he gave us heads. Unfortunately, our heads are empty. One person is everything in your head. You don't understand what, 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 what that is. So listen, it moved from Haron's head, it goes, the theologian is here. He will tell you what does the head signify, what do beards signify, how comes priests who are not allowed to shave their beards. It says the anointing flows through the beards, coming down upon the edge of his priestly robes, consecrating the whole body. Now let's read verses 3 together. It is like the dew of Mount Hammon. Now, the dew of Mount Hammon talks about prosperity. God blesses where there is harmony. And I want to tell everybody for free. If you are working in an institution where you and your colleagues are not in harmony, and you are the boss, release them. Amen. This harmony will always hold that company 
in poverty. And I want to recommend to something to somebody. If you don't like your boss and you don't like your job and you don't like your salary, stop cursing your income in your place of work. Stop being a slave in the name of trying to pursue your dreams. Kanaka inje. Enda ukwe CEO. Kama upendi mahali, upendi mshara, upendi watu wanafanya kasi pale, upendi mdosi wako, ukieshimu toka. Kwa heshima yako. Ujiambie tu mimi mchinga. Nafanya kasi sipendi, napata mshara initoshi, nafanya chini ya mtu simtaki, alafu nakula pesa enye imetoka kwa mahali sipendi, mtu sitaki na mshara itoshi. Ukikula pesa ma, kutoka mahali upendi, haitakuletea afya, haitakuletea kansa. Because you don't earn salary, you earn your heart. That's why the gate of God to man's heart is love. If you can't sign up for love, he won't force himself. Yes. Jesus, your dictator, ni mokos. And then he says, he says, it says, down on the hill of Zion. We talks about the principle of the church. For there, the Lord, there, there, there where the head is in its place, the beards are on its place, and the cloak is in its place, and everything is in harmony. He says, there, 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 only there. Does the Lord commanded the blessing. Now, not a blessing. A blessing is singular to a given desire. The blessing is a complete package. It's another word for shalom. The blessing means everything you need to become and do and enjoy whatever life offers for your pleasure. Amen. There's a difference between a blessing and the blessing. A blessing is a job. Getting a wife is a blessing. Getting a promotion is a blessing. But the blessing simply means you have everything you need when you need for your pleasure. Amen. Where do you get the blessing? Where there is harmony. Amen. What does the devil hate? Harmony. Which is called what? Family. Kwa sababu alianguka yu mtiani binguni. Yendi alianza rebellion ya kwanza binguni. And let me tell you something. Rebellion is not a product of disharmony. Rebellion is the cause of disharmony. Nobody rebels where there is disharmony. Rebellion causes disharmony. If I was Judas, you are betraying Jesus to work for who? Come away ni Judas. Unasaliti Yesu. Ndiyo ukwe mwanafunzi wanani. Unasaliti mungu. Sikia. Don't be surprised. Judas was a treasurer. He was a thief. Jesus was not bothered by his stealing until he betrayed trust. According to Jesus, trust was more expensive, of more value than money. That's why ule rafiki wa rafiki ata kikukonga pesa kuna vile muna zaelawana. Muna loge nina siyama? Rafiki yako anaweza shindwa kulipa, kulipa pesa. Rafiki yako anaweza kukon pesa. Rafiki yako anaweza kukubroke. Ama mujui? E anakukonga hapa katikati na kuambia wamekupea free. Kwa sababu ya jina yangu. Na amekula double. Lakini raf, usaliti. Sijui kama mnajua usaliti nini. Usaliti ni hii. Nimekupea moyo wangu, ukanepea yanko. Ukaenda uka konga konga yangu mbaka damu ikatoka. Alafu kaniletea na unataka yako. Usaliti ni hii. Wewe ni mchinga, wewe hauna namna, hauna mbele. Nimekupea macho yangu, nimekupea uso wangu, nimekupea kibali changu, umefunguliwa milango penye mimi ningefunguliwa, wakifikiria ni mimi. Alafu kafika pale, ukaenda kunitoa na kunitupa test bin, alafu unataka kuchukulikia kilicho changu kwa niaba yako. Usaliti ni mbaya. Usaliti ni vile unakubali mwanaume wana, wakati hana kitu. Kiatu ya kwanza umpia ulimnunulia. Chipsi ya kwanza ulimnunulia. Ukaacha kila mtu ukaishi na ye. Na ukampenda wakati ya pendeki. Kila mtu alikuambia umerogwa. Ini mwanaume gani umeoa? Umekosa wapi? Usha wei endarusi ukona hii mstia na mungu alimalisa kuumba. Na huyu ndugu mwenye material laikutosha. 
Aiye ndi pamoja mpaka unashangaa. Ni dawa ama ni uchawi. Lakini mrembo anasema ni huyu tu. Mpaka unarembesha ndugu mpaka mtu kama mimi anaanza kufanana na mtu. Kwa sababu ya image ya wife. Alafu kesho Mungu anawabariki, alafu mwanamume anaanza kuwa mchinga. That's betrayal. That's betrayal. That's betrayal. A woman who loved you when you are nothing cannot be your enemy now that you have something. The same thing. A man who loved you when nobody loved you cannot be a liability now. Yeah, that's why we spend them daughter jirani at kwa sababu yako hana masikio moja. Yeah, yako ni yako. Kuna pia hii uchinga ati kuna mtu afadhali kuliko wewe. Na wadada nataka kuambia. Mwenye atakuoa ni mwenye atakupata. Akikupata umejipaka rangi ukwe kitu kingine. Ataenda akisema mwenye niliambiwa mapua inafanana lakini rangi. Kuna malaika wanatuma walete baraka zenu wanakuta location hiyo. Remain natural. Your angel is looking for you. Hata <laughs> nimekuangalia aje sijasema kitu. <laughs> so there is what? Unity, harmony. God loves what? Harmony. Now, let me show you something that will shock you and then we go to the third thing that the devil hates. Let's go back to Matthew, Matthew 12:25. Matthew 12. This is good. This is uh, let me tell you something friends. Unaona hii mahubiri na ubiri inanibariki. Amen. So hata kama umbarikiwi muniangalia nikibarikiwa. Look at verse 25. I enjoy this thing. Oh, I love preaching. I love my sermons. Nikitoka hapa naenda ku watch. Wakati nyimu umesahau. Listen. Look at verses 12. Did you get the scripture I was talking about? Yes, 12:25. Siro. Yes, now Jesus supernaturally perceived their thoughts and motives. So he confronted them by telling them this parable. Any kingdom. Say that with me. Any If you have a notebook, I want you to write that word kingdom in capital letters and bolden it. Any kingdom that fights against itself. Now, that is ridiculous. In 1997 nilipatwa na ugonjwa fulani yenye haikueleweka nikapelekwa kitale hospitali fulani alafu nikaambiwa ugonjwa yangu ni ugonjwa kwamba mwili na chikula najua madaktari wako hapa daktari hiyo ugonjwa inaitwa mwili na chikula inaitwa nini ha huh? hiyo ugonjwa ni gani immunity autoimmunity kitu kama hicho nikaambiwa mwili mwili nafanya nini ina chikula now this is exactly what is happening The Bible says when you get to a level where you fight yourself you are fighting against itself. You know what that means? Mimi ni bure. Sijui hata niliumba namna gani. Hata nilizaliwa kwa nyumba nzuri kweli. Naonekana mimi niko na laana tu. Sikuelewa kitu shule. Nimeolewa vibaya. Watoto wangu waelewi kitu. Nikifanya kitu haifaulu. Sijui niko na laana gani. Sijui Mungu nilimkosea nini. Anything nikikusa hiyo ni mwili na chikula you, you, you are fighting yourself let me tell you something you should sign up for david's class Amen. david fought his battles without an external praises Amen. the bible says david would sing a song of praise yes. before fighting the enemy Amen. david encouraged himself in the lord David knew the power of going to the battle with the lord Amen. david knew the power of akita That's why nikipata mwimbaji ako stress. Na unanga mtu mchinga sana. Utakuwaje stress na wewe ni mwimbaji. Utapataje stress na wewe ni mwimbaji. Listen. It will come to what? Ruins. Without an external interference. You don't need al-shabab. If you have your personal fights with you. If you are in disharmony with you. Nobody blesses you. Have you ever tried to tell a woman who has a conflict with her own self, you are beautiful? Ushawahi kuta mwanamke mwenye ako na vita na yeye. Anamwambia I love you, you are beautiful. So umeanza kesi. Hebu sema vizuri unamaanishaje? Unanipenda? What do you mean? Nimesema I love you. L O V E I love you. You are beautiful. What do you mean? Conflict. Conflict. 
Mtu anakufuata na SMS. Uliniambia I love you, ulikuwa unamaanisha nini? I meant I love you. Kuna msichana mmoja nilimwambia, "Hey, I love you." Akaniambia, "Ma pastors wanasemanga hivyo." Akamwambia, "Okay, I hate you." At the pastor, "How can you tell me I hate you?" I told you, you just said you don't believe pastors should say I love you. Hebu hebu jaribu sasa hii ambie jirani yako I love you uone vituko. Unaona vile anasema maraka na kuhepa. I love you na kuhepa. Harmony. Now look at the next part. Look at verses verses 13, verse 26. No no, go back to verses 20, 25. And, and, and city uh, and then no city or house divided against itself continues to stand. Now listen to me and, and I want to speak to you in Swahili. A house represents what we call um, uh, represents what we call harmony of leadership. A house divided against itself ni hii. Now we are talking about the second level of harmony. Harmony number one is with yourself. Harmony number two is with your immediate, either your husband or your wife or your friends. When we say a family, a house divided against itself cannot stand. It's harmony of leadership. Wababa nyamuko hapa. Ikifika mali ya uonyeshi uongozi kwako. There is conflict. Yeah. Na kuna wababa wanatuaibisha. You no longer show leadership in that home. Wife akikulisa, what do you think? is like, penye unafikiri hafanya? You are not a good leader. You are an embarrassment. We need a husband in that home. And if you can't be one, we are trusting God for one. You can't leave your family. Wife and Akulisa, what do we do? It's like, Sijui, vile umefikiria. You are not the leader. Your wife is not even consulting you because you know better. She's just respecting you. A woman who still asks you, what do we do? Respects you. Amen. Don't tell her, I am stressed. And you don't tell your woman you are stressed. So, unataka tafte unani ya mtie moya? Ni kama hii watu wanaishi na mwanamuke na hana certificate? Sikia? Uyo siyo muke wako ini rafiki yako. Na siku hila akipata mume wa kumuoa. Usilete kisirani. Ati watoto ndiyo cheti. Ulisa mimi. Misi juhi baba yangu. A divided kingdom represents this. Wealth. A kingdom divided against itself. You know what a kingdom is? Resources, wealth. Now look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Now munisikise. You never find a poor family divided. Rarely. Watu wakua na shida? Ni marafiki. Wana umoja. Matatiso wana imbia pa moja. Uko wapi tuende jumbani? Umepata kitu tukule pa moja. You know, that is a condition of a broken family. I mean, a family that is broke. Let me tell you something. There are families the devil will not visit until you begin to make money. Yes. Listen, the devil hates prosperity. Wakati alitembelea nyumba ya job, listen to the first thing that happened. Hakuanza na watoto, alianza na mali. By the time Mali inaisha, muke wa Amin, Ayubu, anamwambia mume wake, kufa, ya useless. Listen, mukiansa kupata Mali, chunga sana harmony. Because Genesis inasema, God bless them, not him, not her. Once you get married, you are no longer two, and the two shall become one. Pepo ya umaskini akitaka kuwa jamii, analete crack. Mukiansa kusosana na muke wako na watoto wako, ujue mali imeenda. Na itaenda, kwa sababu mungu wali wabariki mukiwa harmony. Listen to this statement. You can't sustain alone what you acquire together. 
Did you hear what I said? Yes. That's why it's hard to raise children alone when you had it with someone. Ukianza kuona mali imekuja, nataka kuwapea mashauri for free. You don't need to pay for. Kitu ya kwanza, mukitaka kukana mali yenu. Kitu ya kwanza, ingisa kwa covenant na mungu. Kwa sababu kuna mali na shinda uweso wako wa kuchunga. There is a limit to how much you can sustain wealth. That's why people in the corporate insure their wealth. Insurance simply means it's beyond my capacity to reclaim if I lost or to manage in case of danger. That's why people, wakati watu wanatajirika, wanaingia partnership. You can't run some companies single-handedly. You need partnership. Single-handedness is for people who have no money. Any money you got with your wife or with your husband will never stay with one when the partner leaves. Period. Yeah. Angalia watu wote ambaye walichinua from nothing wa kiraise pesa. Sikile family funjika hivi, mali katafta mapawa. Because it came to the family harmony. It's called commanded blessings. It comes to where there is harmony. It is of the devil. When a man or a woman begin to behave funny towards their spouse because of money or vehicles. When you had nothing, you malienu. Now that you have money, niako. You even want your wife to become your property. And I want to tell all the men for free. Mini kiwandanya. You can never succeed with money without the helper who helped you to get. God told Adam, you cannot enjoy this garden without a woman called a helper. The easiest way to get poor is to separate with the person you acquired the wealth together. And let me tell you something. You will never recover that money until you restore the relationship with your former partner. And the devil can sign you into the contract of poverty forever by making sure you will never reconcile with the woman or the man you met wealth with. When family cracks, money leaves. When family cracks, family leaves. I mean, money leaves. Covenant your wealth with God. Number two, separate wealth from family. Uwezi kumpea muke wako na gari. Wakale wanasema, te tanyang muren, muren nantany ni kitu kaniyo. You can compare your success to a cow. Separate your wealth from your family. It should be that if money left, you remain. Because if the people who make money remains, you can still make money. People who are separated by money never enjoy money. Amen, Ilianda Wab? There was silence. Kingdom. Can I ask you a question? How is your kingdom doing? Because a kingdom divided against itself. Sikia. Sikia. Sio intrusion, sio wageni, sio mwisi, sio, 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 sio wakora. No, against itself. How is your kingdom doing? How is your kingdom doing? Do you still talk like you used to talk when you had nothing to talk about? Do you still share your profits? Do you still discuss uliunda ngapi? Umeona ngapi? Unipe niende niweka hapo kidogo, hapa kidogo. Mimi sikupata kitu leo, wewe utusote leo. Wewe lipa nyumba leo, lipia watoto leo. Unipe kidogo hiyo yako, unikopeshe. You know those kind of things. Unikopeshe niweke kwa biashara. How is your kingdom? How is your kingdom? Look at me. The day you begin to separate the same, I have a jaribu yako, mini jaribu yangu, ni metosha kukulon, ni metosha ni anekupea, alafu naenda, mujue, mumerudi benye mababu zenu walitoka, umaskini, watoto wenu watansa kualipia rent, na hakuna kitu ya ibu, kuliko mtoto wako wakiansa kualipia rent. It's embarrassing. Parents give inheritance. 
Children don't give inheritance. Children only honor you. Mungu akiwabariki mukae church. Nimesema fanya nini? Yeah. Mukae church. Ati kazi iko mingi sana. Sikuweza kuja church. Wewe. <laughs> Watu wa Mungu, sasa kuatisha. Ukiona imetendekea mwenzako, inaweza kutendekea. Ukiona ndoa ya mtu kifunjika, ujue walikuwa wanapendana. Ukiona tajiri akiwa maskini, ukiona mtu alikuwa na manyumba, ako na magari, ako na vitu, ukiona mtu alikuwa hapa. Ukiona matiangi ana ana, ana inaweza tendeka. Be careful. Ukiona masishi ya mtu, ujue inaweza kuwa yako. Ukiona mwanamke amewachwa, usema hakujua kuchunga mzee. Labda anachunga kuliko wewe. Ukiona mtu anafutwa kazi, sio kwa sababu ameharibika. Ukiona biashara ya mtu amesoea town, ameunda pesa, anajua huku na huku, anajua maofisi ya serikali lakini ukijaribu kushika hata kidogo inatoroka. Listen. God blesses harmony. And lastly, the harmony of no no the second last the harmony of a church the bible says if you live as one then the world will know you are my disciple Amen. not disciples disciple god looks at the church as one rebellion is not an attribute of the church never why because the church is the picture of god who is god he is three in one without contention there's never been a conflict between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yesu anasema roho atawaonyesha kile ameona kwangu. Na mimi ninafanya kile nimeona na kusikia kwa baba. There is no disharmony in God. There can never be a disharmony in the church. Disharmony is the devil in the church. And let me tell you, ukipanda mbegu ya disharmony kwa kanisa yako, you receive your inheritance. I will even want to recommend this. Afadhali fita na kampuni yako. Afadhali fita na mume wako. Afadhali vita na mtoto wako. You want to be the champion of the ceremony in the church and want to enjoy your marriage. Trust me. We will come. We will come. If you don't come to worship with us, we will come to bury you. You can't avoid us. Wewe si hapa pasta. Usipompenda akiwa hai atatokesea ukikufa. Hebu niulize jirani yako, mwambie unataka pasta akuje lini? Ukiona ongei ako na issue na pasta wake. We are the only people who left our dreams, left our jobs. We are given standards that are not in this world. Nikikuja leo lunch hour na slippers. Kwa watu wengine ni dhambi. Hiyo ndio standard tumewekewa, man of God. Nikikuja kesho na kinyasa, mtafikiri nimeanguka. Hata sikai pasta. Kuna rafiki yangu alinikemea kaniambia, "Umefaa jeans na t-shirt na na na, 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 na rubbers. Umetoka kuhubiri?" Kamwambia, "Yes." Kaniambia, "You are not serious with God's work." But we ni pasta. You raise our standards and don't reward us. Kuna magari ya muamini tunayasaendesha? Munaamini tumeiba? Nikuulize swali. Kabla hujafikiria pasta aliiba sadaka. Tumia wewe kupima wenzako. Hiyo sadaka unatoa. Hiyo ni pesa inatosha kuibiwa. Listen. We die for you. We leave our children to raise your children. We are fathers to your children and to you. Sure. We leave our wives to keep you safe. Yes. Thank you, sir. They leave their husbands to take care of you. Yes. We visit your homes. Yes. We pray for your health. Yes. You rarely tell us anything. Yes. That's why whenever there is a contention with a, between a pastor and a congregation, it's always severe. Because ni kama kuuma matiti ya mama yako. Kama kuenda kuambia majirani vile matiti ya mama yako inafanana. 
ukinyonya kisiri unabarikiwa ukiambiana inakuwa laana ukipata mali kumbuka penye ulisaliwa mama yako na baba yako wasikae kama maid chokora wanaenda kibarua na huko hii town unaitwa mheshimiwa mheshimiwa wa kitu gani kama mama yako na baba yako hawakuiti mheshimiwa wewe ni bure useless a liability you are born in a wrong generation am i still preaching yes. we should look at your mother and your father and salute you nasikia usiwahi tolea mama yako nguo ushafaa mama ananunulua nguo mpya chasho yako ni makocho ya useni uwezi kucholea mama yako ukiwa mdogo alafu mtole nguo umeweka kivitu ambaye ni sehemu ya makocho yako baba yako asifae kenyera ikiwasakana msasi wako asiende kwa malipo ya wase lipa mama yako <laughs> aya nimemaliza chukua sadaka muende A harmony of the church. The last one, I, I think, there is a third thing we will handle tomorrow on the things the devil hates. But I wanted to talk about the harmony of institutions and the harmony of a nation. A nation that is not in unity, and that is not in harmony with itself, will never prosper. Utakuta wakale wakiwa kwa serikali wakale wa nafaulu. Wakikuyu wakiwa kwa serikali wa nafaulu. Wakisi wakiwa kwa serikali kila kitu inaenda kwa. Wajaluo a country is defined by its oneness. That's why we have one president in any nation. A country that is not united is never prospered. Amen. Chukua sadaka nikubariki. Hallelujah. Kama we ni mpendwa, usha pendwa, usha kataliwa, usha pitia changamoto. On Tuesday next week, na walika kwa dina, inaitwa Valentine dina. Kama we ni mgonjwa kuja kuna uponyaji. Kama uko kwa mapensi kuja tukuchangie. It's open, it's open for everybody. Whether you are married or single, whether you are a couple or not, whether you are a single mother. And I want to tell all single mothers, there is hope. There is hope. Waja ile culture kwa mba, sasa ili haripika hakuna namna. There is hope. So on Tuesday next week, we have a Valentine dinner here and we are only looking for a number of people. So once we have the number, we will close it. So don't wait for the last day. Register right now and get your. And those who are watching, you can do the same. Amen. Ebu ni saidia muambia jirani yako, uyu mchungaja natupenda. Muambia ukiona vila natuingilia. Ukiona jirani ya ongei ya mekwasika. Muambia uyu mchungaja natupenda. Na ni kweli na wapenda. Na wapenda. I keep telling my pastors here. Musirudie makosa nilifanya. I made some stupid decisions when I was growing up in ministry. I wish none of my sons will make them. But you know what? Fisi alisema. Siku kuja kwa hii musitu bure. Nilikuja kwa hii musitu. Kwa sababu kuna sikio, halisikii mashauri. Chakula chafisi, ni sikio, ambalo halisikii mashauri. Muko na sadaka? Tumebarikiwa buwana at the huria level. Tunatambua wema wako na makusudi yako. Mipango yako. Na tunajua pia the schemes of the evil one. We rise above the schemes of the enemy by knowing exactly the principles that defies the enemy. That which locks him out. One is covenant. Two is family. We pray that we will not be victims of his tricks and traps and seductive ways that seems good but its end is destructive. As your people honor you with their givings today, as a voice of grace, I bless them. As a father, I bless them. As the shepherd, bless them. Bless the afternoon, Lord. Give them a testimony. We thank you for the testimonies we've received for so far. Testimonies of schools that were found. 
testimonies of phone calls, testimonies of employments, testimonies of promotions, testimonies of healing, testimonies of um, schools that are opened, testimonies of marriage proposals. We have dedicated properties, vehicles. We keep hearing testimonies. I pray that each one of us in this month of February, which is a month of progress, there will be a meaningful progress that will give us a testimony. I decree a testimony in the life of each one of us. In Jesus' name. May the God you honor, honor you. And I love you and I bless you. Bring me a friend tomorrow. Let's come on time early so that we can finish. Sometimes I slow down because some of you come 10 minutes too and I don't want to lose you. Let's come on time. When I am saved, I have secured my ticket to heaven.